Light's everything in photography, be it stills or video. So I really want to talk to you again about light. Hey folks, Moose here. I talk about light a lot. Right now, I've been seeing it not so complimentary in a whole lot of Zoom conferences. You know what I'm talking about, this social distancing thing. We need to sit there and talk via a camera like I am right now. Well, I want to talk about light that works for lots of things, Zoom being part of it. I want to talk about the ProMaster color LED light. A really small, simple, portable light. How small, how portable? Well, hang on a second, let me show it to you. That small, that light. Okay, see how itty bitty it is? It works, ooh, special effects. Works on batteries, works on AC, works out of a car, it works killer. How important is it? Well, if I don't have it, look what happens to my face. You can see the highlights burnt out, face and shadow. Put that light back on the stand, and then you'll see at that distance, it's working really cool. Now, this very small little LED light is pretty darn special. It's physically small, it's physically light, it's very powerful. What works, it makes it really good for a lot of stuff is the fact that it works off a little remote. I can sit here and very quickly change the uh, change it so it's instantly a whole lot brighter, or I can make it a whole lot less. If you're using a camera like a Z5 or a Z50, I should say, uh, one of the monitor, you reverse the monitor, you can sit there and look at the monitor, you look at this, adjust it, so the light's just perfect for you. And see now, shadows are gone, highlight's okay, and that's that one simple fill LED. And that's what I'm talking about. It is a fill-in light, not a, um, a master light. And why is that? Well, I do have those big LED panels, and they're great, but they're big and they're heavy, they need full stands. I'm shooting this right now with my basic Zoom conference rig, which is a Z6 with a 35 1.8 Z lens attached to it. So I have a narrow depth of field, so I physically pop out because of depth of focus. I'm using the LED light to sit there and light my face up so you can see me. I've done way too many Zoom conferences where there's a little light in this dark tunnel, and that's a person. It's not really great for, for conversing. Now let's take this out in the field to the more applicable you know, applications. If you look at my hummingbird video, you can see my face is filled in even though I'm in shadow. That was done with this LED light. In fact, I, I take it lots of places. It fits everything, it fits in this little case. What I mean by everything. It comes with the mount to put it on a light stand. It comes with a mount to go into a hot shoe. It comes with the double couple batteries. It comes with the battery chargers. It comes with the AC plug-in. It comes with uh, cords to uh, plug into your accessory socket in a car. It comes with a clear Fresnel. It comes with a frosted uh Fresnel. It comes with a hand grip that you can hand hold this thing. It comes complete, including the remote. So in that Hummingbird video, I put it in the stand and I first set the intensity, which is very cool. But what else you can do is you can change the color temperature. So we started to shoot this video, uh, what well, I was getting set up for, I should say. There was thunderstorms going out there, really gray light. So I set the number and pushed it. I went up to 8,000 Kelvin on that and, and got the blue light coming out and pfft, perfect. Started to shoot the video and the sun popped out. So I'm hitting the button, I'm looking at the monitor and I brought the temperature back down to about 4,100 Kelvin. So I'm balancing the color of the light as well as the intensity from the remote looking at the monitor. So it's really very convenient. If you don't know these numbers, you can just look and go, okay, I look good. White balance, check. And because it's portable, I can take it many places. It's it's gone on. Uh, it's been in the belly of the plane four times now, and it, not a problem. Keeps on working. Keeps on going with me. And it's just a very small, simple, very inexpensive light. And I found it by calling my good friends at Bedford Camera and said, "This is what I need. What do you recommend?" And boom, this showed up. So this is the ProMaster Bicolor LED light. And I'm not telling you all the specs because honestly, I don't remember all the cool things it does. I use it for the simplistic, but check it out. Add it to your Zoom conference call. You'll look better and better light. And that's what photography is all about.